Uh, how about the activities of the church down here? You got some fundraisers going on? Not at this time. Not down here. Yes. Are you? I'm, no, I'm not a priest or a preacher or anything like that. I'm volunteering my time here. All roads for the charities lead here. Headquarters for the North American Old Roman Catholic Archdiocese, 140 Linden Avenue, Long Beach. An old hotel converted into a condo project. Pope Roland A. Lucier and his right-hand man, the Archbishop Benjamin Jones. The Archbishop is the expert on matters of faith. The Pope speaks to the goals of his church. You see, our ambition is that we're going to have a Vatican City in the United States. Oh, where would it be? Before we make a final decision on this, we want to be able to, to, to let the entire world know what the history that we have discovered and what we're bringing into the people of the North American Old Roman Catholic Archdiocese. What is this the, the Archbishop Jones, come over here. Don't hide from the public. <laughs> she asked me a question, Archbishop Jones. Is it that if my priests, my cardinals, my archbishops, they can marry, and Roman Catholic priests cannot marry? Now, is that traditional, that they can marry? Yes, it is. Traditional. Yes, it is. It sure is. It sure is. It's on the records and all. And speaking of records, priests, and archbishops, let's meet some and take a look at some records. Meet Dr. Ron Ayala, Archbishop Ron Ayala psychologist Ron Ayala. Where did you earn your PhD? I'm curious. South Bay University. Oh, they're in Long Beach? In Long Beach. Mm -hmm. And here again, meet the founder of South Bay University, Pope Lucier. I, Archbishop Ayala, is a very, very, very intelligent man. He is, he is very well experienced. He has a tremendous resume. Ayala has quite a resume. Chief psychologist of a drug and alcohol clinic. An article appearing in national publication Omni Magazine, testing your psychic abilities by Dr. Ron Ayala. But we checked. Dr. Ron didn't write the article. The author was actually Pamela Weintraub. The uh, patriot up there in Long Beach. Oh, uh, yes, uh, uh, Dr. Lucier. Yeah, because yeah. mm -hmm. I should talk to him before I say anything. Yeah, he did speak fondly of you, said you've been working together for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where is your clinic? Uh, I'll give, it's in Cuernavaca, Mexico. Oh, Cuernavaca, Mexico. Mm -hmm. Not just there, though. His drug and alcohol rehabilitation clinic is listed in the white pages. The address? a private home located in a small condo complex in a residential area of Chula Vista. Is this on right yeah. now? Yeah, the camera's on. It's part of our electronic note-taking. We want to make sure that we don't get anything wrong. Okay, why don't you call the Thank Archdiocese? You. I have your number. <laughs> okay. okay, I have your number, so uh, I will call you. I just want to make sure. You are the same Ron I am who wrote these articles? I, I'm going to talk to you mm -hmm. when, I, when, when I have the time. I really, I'm sorry. We're sorry, too. We wanted to ask him one more thing. St. Michael's Catholic Seminary. Now, according to this business filing, it's located in Moreno Valley in Riverside County. You see at the bottom of the filing for St. Michael's Catholic Seminary, the signature of... Yeah. For the priest and so forth. Oh, I see. Yeah. Are there a lot of students there? Oh, yes, my goodness. 22600 Alessandra Boulevard, the address of St. Michael's Catholic Seminary in Moreno Valley. A post office box no stately buildings, and no priests. There's no question the church's name is linked to a number of questionable charities claiming to raise money for the homeless and for veterans. Well, your number's been uh, by like this East San Diego Telephone Boiler Room we paid a surprise visit to. The Human Care Project. Donors are told the money helps homeless women and children. What is your name? My name is Larry Kaufman. And how are you associated with this so-called North American Old I Roman am Catholic my Church? Time here. Volunteering? Here's the application for tax exempt status for the church here in San Diego. At the bottom, the signature of Human Care Project volunteer Larry Kaufman. His title? Vice President. I'm not a priest or preacher or anything like that. I'm volunteering my time here. ...of the San Diego branch of the North American Old Roman Catholic Archdiocese. Here are Thunderbird Kaufman drives and a Corvette registered to another family member. Records reveal Kaufman owns this property. Mr. Kaufman, good morning. Marty Emerald from Channel 10. We need to talk for a minute, Mr. Kaufman. 
He's just out of sight of our camera and apparently not in the mood to talk. You don't need to be hiding out. Why don't you come out here and explain what uh, your church is all about and tell us more about the Human Care Project, huh? We're really willing to listen, Mr. Kaufman. Honestly, Larry, I'm trying to get at the truth here. Well, so much for that. In Riverside County, the church claims to be raising money for Vietnam veterans. It's called the Vietnam Veterans Care Project. Our producer is on the left. The money really goes. Yeah, a crew leader would pick you up and drop you off in front of a store. And then you would hustle for money, donations. And anything over 200, you got 40% of what was in the box. If you took in $200, you got 80 bucks. And they got the rest. But I was finding guys that were homeless while I was working in front of stores and giving them the phone number to call. Hey, man, we'll help you out. You know, that's what we're about. That's what we're collecting this money for. We'll find you a place to live. And I was none of these people. I never heard anything from them again. It's not surprising this former worker never saw anyone helped by the CARE Project. We could find only two instances where small donations were made by church-sponsored fundraisers in Riverside or San Diego County. My boss, Frank Cardo, told me that there was a TV station down in San Diego doing an investigation on him. And he said he took $500, wrote a $500 check, and sent it to a homeless program in San Diego. He didn't say it was veterans or anything. He just said... called Veterans of Foreign Wars St. Francis Care Unit. Why don't you tell us where the St. Francis Care Unit is? So we can go by minister. and see it. Please call for And where minister. is he located? Administrator Barry Reed won't talk, but says his boss, Father Robert Master, will. Minutes later, we see Master running down the sidewalk. Are you connected with this uh, veteran's outfit? Right. Just fine? You're okay. What is your name? My name's Dr. Master. Oh, you're Father Master. Yes, Are you right. really a priest? Yes, I'm an ordained priest. Tell me about this organization. <laughs> what is the St. Francis Care Unit? Well, basically, we're a fundraiser for veterans' organizations. Or, we are the veterans organization, if you will. Well, what veterans organization? Well, uh, the care unit is put together primarily because what I did was I found that there were problems with veterans organizations. We, uh, Mr. Reed, I think you talked with him? Uh-huh. Okay. He was, um, Excuse, can you turn that off? No. Well, then I can't talk to you. <laughs> Why not? Well, because it's you know, making me nervous. You know, he's evasive, you're evasive. I don't, I'll talk veterans to you about the Veterans of Foreign camera. War says here you're using their name for something they know nothing about. We're not the Veterans of Foreign We're not VFW. Okay. That's the impression that yeah, consumers out there are getting. Church members we spoke with deny knowing Master or anything about his fundraising efforts. Yet Ayala registered his car using this Lemon Grove address, the home of Robert Master. So add it up. Archbishop Ron Ayala, friend, confidant of the Pope. Father Larry Kaufman running one of the church's charities in San Diego. Father Robert Master running yet another charity, all with ties to the North American Old Roman Catholic Archdiocese and South Bay University. Where is your university located? South Bay? Long Beach. And where? It's in Long Beach. What kind of degrees can I get from South Bay? Bachelors, uh, all the, di the degrees that you want. Any, any subject? Them. Subjects, philosophy, psychology, and so forth. Same as St. Michael's? Right. And you founded that too? Yeah. But mm -hmm. here in Southern California, you're raising about how much money a year do you think? Quite a bit, quite a bit. Give me, quite a, quite a, bit. Give me a ballpark, would you? It's hard, it's hard, because I leave that up to, I leave that up to my financing officer. Are we talking officer. into the millions of dollars? It's way up, it's way up, mm -hmm. yes. But you, to serve those in need. And that, we know in common sense, requires the proper funds. Who ordained you, Pope? Who ordained us? Who ordained you, Pope? Who ordained me, Pope? St. Peter. So you might be wondering, why don't the authorities just move in and shut these guys down? Well, Al Sheldon from the Attorney General's office is here to explain to us just what authorities can do. Because of recent legislative enactments and also Supreme Court decisions, governmental agencies 
are really hamstrung in looking at the fundraising activities of religious organizations. Only if there are charges of embezzlement can we really get involved. Therefore, we tell members of the public that they should be sure they know who they are giving to, they shouldn't give to people who solicit over the phone but ask for information in writing, and they should give their donations that way also. All right, thank you, Al Sheldon from the Attorney General's office. But then every dollar that goes to an organization like this is a dollar that perhaps won't go to an organization like St. Vincent de Paul, which Father Joe Carroll runs. What your dollar's doing, and then give it to the agency of choice. All right, thank you, Father Joe Carroll. Up next, the answer to our first consumer quiz of the evening. Also, some recycling ripoffs. Stay with us. If your ATM card is lost or stolen and you notify your financial institution within two days, your liability is limited to $50, $100, $200.